Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got the return of massive sunspots, the super coronal hole, Schumann resonance in human health, solar forcing of ground level winds, and the speed of solar magnetic and particle forcing. Let's get started with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring continued at the active region turning towards the limb, including another near X-class event. Those sunspots are now turning out of view, but they are being replaced by leviathans. We're entering a higher watch period for the sun right now, so let's peek at the flaring uptick the last 48 hours. You can see the events there, the spikes, but decreasing now as those sunspots leave our visibility. Now the sunspots peppering most of the sun are isolated and smaller, but over to the left, we see the twin beasts that have crested into view over the limb. We're eyeing those over the coming 10 days as they're going to be the primary space weather watch. But we are watching the solar wind first. This coronal hole is the big one, trans-equatorial and distended, covering a wild percentage of the heliospheric latitudes. Enhanced solar wind is expected at Earth mid to late week, could produce geomagnetic storms. Hopefully, the sunspots do not add to that mix. We'll be watching. We're on to a story I know many of you can't wait to read, Schumann Resonance and Human Health. There's a lot in here. Link is below and connections are found between the bioelectric responses at the cellular and full system level, from ion transport and electrolyte usage to psychology and consciousness. Up next, we're seeing how the same kind of solar storm effect that impacts us human resonance, like energetic particle precipitation, impacts the polar vortex and down through the atmosphere to the surface winds. In fact, they even detect that forcing in the wind turbine productivity in northern versus southern Europe when the vortex is impacted by the sun in this way. Last but not least, just another reminder about the rapid forcing of space weather as well. They use the IMF turn, the solar wind magnetic flip, in the great solar storm from a year ago, found the time from solar wind impact to ground effects was between 2 and 10 minutes, which is basically nothing. Veteran observers knew that already from the many such papers covered in the past. Be sure to head over to ObserverRanch.com, check out the event list, the calendar, get all of the details, give us a call or book right through the website, and don't forget, this coming weekend is the major permaculture class, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.